So tell me, why do you want to major in computer science? I want to become a computer research scientist and develop new technology for big companies like Google, Apple, and Microsoft, then start my own company. You must be certifiably insane. To get a job working at big companies like Google, Apple, or Microsoft, you must have gone to colleges like MIT or Stanford and graduated in the top of your class. And even if you do land a job there, you will spend the first three years of your career burning your retinas from staring at a computer screen for 16 hours a day, writing code for a software that will be scrapped 24 hours before you complete it, and developing a coke habit from the 80-hour weeks you work. I am willing to sacrifice three years of my life for future success. After three years, you might get a position writing 5,000 lines of code for software that your manager will take all of the credit for. I am willing to cooperate with my superiors so that one day I myself might become a manager or start my own company and benefit the economy. Your superiors will treat you like a pack mule and blackmail you into doing their work so that they don't lose their jobs in this godforsaken economy. And by starting your own company, you won't be helping the economy but rather pouring more gasoline onto this already big fire. The only people you will be benefiting are financial terrorists like Goldman Sachs. My friends say that computer scientists and software engineers have the most job satisfaction. That's because 50% of them are Southeast Asian immigrants who grew up on $10 a day, and $50,000 a year from 100-hour weeks is a gold mine for them. I don't care. I'm willing to work as hard as possible so that one day I revolutionize technology and change the world. You are going to make me overdose on my Vicodin and abandon my wife and daughters whom I have not seen since I arrived at work five weeks ago. I am a natural planner. I can organize my time very well. Well in that case, the time spent organizing your time will only cause you to work longer weeks and the stress will probably cause you to develop cardiac problems, brain aneurysms weight gains, personality disorders, hallucinations, drug addictions and suicidal tendencies. Like me. You will have no social life, except the one in the virtual reality program your company designed. And even though you will be able to remember 300 lines of C++, Java, Objective-C, and HTML5 code, you will be unable to remember your birthday or your wife's name. But my high school counselor told me that computer scientists and software engineers have well-balanced work and social lives and the best ones make lots of money through effective startups, like Sergey Brin of Google, Steve Jobs of Apple, Marissa Mayer, and Bill Gates. They are even the occupation with the second highest number of billionaires in America. Have you ever met another top-notch computer scientist or software engineer? No. That's because their social lives consist of writing code for hours with their desk mate or roommate that will change how other people behave. Take Walden and Two and a Half Men for example, Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook and the social network, Finch and Person of Interest, Steve Jobs whose only friend was Steve Wozniak, or Larry Ellison who has been divorced four times. That doesn't happen to everyone. Have you ever read a paper on computer science? Do you know any programming languages? Have you ever attended a CS class? No, but I'm eager to do all those things. Well then, I suppose you don't ever plan on getting married and starting a family. As a matter of fact, I want to get married and start a family. When I'm 30 and sitting on a heap of cash from my brilliant startup. The chances of that happening are less than 5%, because 95% of tech startups fail, and it'll even be worse in this economy. My son is in jail for starting an online drug dealing company, and my daughter works for the financial terrorist group, otherwise known as Goldman Sachs. What would you recommend other than computer science? I would not recommend anything else, because I now want to see you suffer for four years in college turning your bloodstream into a coughing stream, developing an Adderall and Coke habit, and spending 15 hours a day memorizing algorithms and computer code from the department's library. You will never be able to write any of your own code and pass an assignment, because your code is always wrong in the eyes of the professors. Unless you're Bill Gates or Mark Zuckerberg or another genius college student, which you are obviously not. By the time you finish college you will be suicidal because you will realize that you don't know how to write your own programs, 
as the college system doesn't allow you to. I will make friends with the other CS majors. Did I not tell you that their social lives consist of writing code all day, that never gets accepted by professors? But when I get my degree I'll have good work friends. Those work friends will hack your computer and erase all your work and software code, so that you get fired instead of them the next time the company needs to lay off someone, which is frequent, because software engineering jobs are the most common engineering jobs, and also experience the most layoffs of engineers in this economy. I still think I'm going to be great. So up yours. You must be one of the most idiotic people I have ever met. Have you not listened to a single word I've said? If you even manage a job or will be chained to your desk like a slave and fry your retinas, then begin to hallucinate. I can't wait to become a computer scientist or software engineer. Well then, have fun in college, where you will write programs designed in the 1980s and irrelevant to the world today. Enjoy learning 250 different algorithms and memorizing 500 differential equations, trigonometrical identities, integral functions, matrix transformations, binary search trees, network topologies, Bayesian statistical transformations, programming languages and much more. Now I'm going to go back to my desk in the toilet cubicle and sift through 5,000 lines of Java code looking for a missing assignment operator. Then I'll call my manager and tell him the update software for the new Apple iOS has been fixed, before poisoning his coffee and killing him.